Do you have any free time or do you give it away to mindless scrolling? You might have so many things you want to do with your life, but whenever you have a free moment, you pick up your phone instead. Before you know it, hours have passed and all you've done is look at Instagram and TikTok. And when you finally snap out of it, you feel like absolute crap. My screen time has gone up to 11 hours a day and I'm not the only person who's struggling with it. But if I was to continue at this rate, I would spend 24 years of my life looking at my screen. Our phones and technology are meant to entertain us, but I don't feel entertained. I feel bored a lot of the time. I'm always overwhelmed with information and I really struggle to focus. And the worst part is I don't really feel like I'm living life. I feel like I'm just trying to kill my time. But it hasn't always been this way. I've been looking through some of my old sketchbooks from when I was young, and it just made me realize how different life was before technology came along. We actually got to grow up with hobbies and interests. We got to find things we love to do, and I feel like time just flowed more easily back then. And not in this scary, where is time going? What am I doing with my life kind of way? But just in this way where time felt a little bit more magical. So is finding a hobby the answer to mindless scrolling? I really thought it was, but I kind of got it wrong. But we'll get to that later. It made sense to me that we spend our time mindlessly scrolling because we don't know how to actually spend our time. So I decided it was time for me to return to my hobbies. This isn't the first time I've tried to get back into art. Whenever I'm going through something rough, I take my sketchbook out and it always makes me feel better. This time around, I wanted to be more consistent. I wanted to go back to those feelings of joy that I had when I was a child. At this point, you might be thinking that you have no hobbies. And I'm always surprised by how common this is. Maybe it's not that you don't have hobbies, but you haven't given yourself a chance to explore any. A lot of the time we can find the answers in our inner child, what we loved and what we did before society got its hands on us. We can think back to what we've always been compelled by or follow the trails of our curiosity. I was confident that by finally making time for my hobbies again, I would reduce my screen time. And I was so excited to finally escape a life of mindless scrolling, but I failed. So I had this vision that I would spend an hour or two every single day sketching or painting, but it's been two weeks now and I haven't opened my sketchbook and I've still been using my phone a lot. And it's really got me thinking like, why is this so difficult? Why is it so hard to get into a hobby and replace the mindless scrolling? And I realized that I've gone about finding a hobby or having a hobby completely wrong. And it's made me realize the one real reason why we all default to mindless scrolling. First, let's talk about what I did wrong. I started off by trying to look for inspiration. I spent ages scrolling on Pinterest and following art accounts on YouTube and Instagram. This not only contributed to my screen time, but it also really affected the way that I saw art. Instead of enjoying it, I felt like I wasn't good enough to do it. I felt really pressured to find something really perfect to paint or create something that was good enough to post online. I would see all of these amazing artists online and think how amazing it would be to have a career as an artist, but then that would just overwhelm me and then I wouldn't want to do it anymore. And this is exactly where the problem lies. We're really bad at doing things just for the sake of doing it. When you were younger, you'd play sports or have fun with your imagination. And it didn't matter if you looked like an idiot or if those things weren't going to take you anywhere. But now almost everything you do has to have a goal or outcome attached to it. You have to be good at it. It has to be useful. You have to be able to monetize it in some way or make it part of your career. Otherwise, it's just not worth your time. You're no longer allowed to play because there's this constant pressure to excel. I remember seeing this post on Instagram, which says, find three hobbies you love, one to make you money, one to keep you in shape and one to be creative. But what about having hobbies simply for the sake of having them? And I genuinely think this is why we lost our hobbies in the first place. 
At school, we were encouraged to follow the subjects that we were good at or that made sense for our career. I mean, that's the reason that I dropped art when I was at school. And then with social media coming along, there's even more pressure to only really engage in things that are worth posting about. Everything has become about pursuit and everything else just feels like a waste of time. And I think that's why it's so easy for us to pick up our phone. We don't know what else to do because nothing else really feels worth our time. Technology has given us a lot, but it's also put the pressure on us to make the most of every moment. So I decided to let go of any expectations that I had. Instead of taking my phone everywhere with me, I started taking my sketchbook. I became okay with making bad drawings because those bad drawings were better than no drawings. I stopped caring about what it was all for. If it was for my own joy, that's good enough. There's so much we could be doing instead of mindlessly scroll. But to let ourselves do it, we have to let go of our need for validation, achievement, being the best, and doing things that make sense. We have to let ourselves feel free to enjoy our free time. That's how we escape the trap of minor scrolling once and for all.